Hey guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. Today I have a beauty haul to share with you. A lot of things are from the recent Sephora sale, so I can't wait to dig into this because I have not even looked through this box yet. I've been saving it for you guys. And then I have also some foundation that I scooped up before they discontinued it, some good hair products, and some nail products. So fighting off a little bit of a migraine right now, but my husband was sweet enough to grab me a large matcha, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this and share all the goodies with you. Also, thank you to Nail Addict. They are partnering with me for part of today's video, but we'll get into that later. So thank you to them for sending me a few of their products, everything else I purchased myself. My Sephora portion is not huge, but I did place an order because that discount is just really tempting. So I got 15% off instead of the usual 10. Um, as a beauty insider, I've gone up like a level somehow. I don't know how, but I guess I must have spent a decent amount of money over the past year, which is really hard to fathom actually, because I feel like I've really slowed down on purchasing cosmetic kind of products because there's not a place to wear them. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is wear lip colors and that's obviously not happening. So I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm going to take it. So the first thing I got were three Laura Mercier caviar sticks. If you saw one of my beauty hauls back around Christmas time, I believe, um, then you saw that I got the travel size of a few of those. They were like a sample size and just love them. They're so easy. You can use them for a one or two shadow look. You can use them as a, I don't know, enhancer to a regular eyeshadow look so so many different ways you can use these but I just love this formula it doesn't crease it stays on all day so I got three shades I got intense amethyst which was one of those sample shades that I absolutely love and I got cocoa which is going to be a really deep dark brown that's gonna be perfect for an outer V and then I got intense moonlight which is another beautiful um, shimmery shade like intense amethyst so let me swatch all of these for you so here are the three shades. This is Intense Amethyst, this is Cocoa, and this is Intense Moonlight. Really, really pretty. I love those shimmers, and like I said, Cocoa is going to be perfect for an outer V. So I'm really, really loving those. I think they're gorgeous, and I've used Intense Amethyst so many times for a one-shadow look, so I cannot wait to use the Intense Moonlight, which is more that gold shade. Just beautiful, and I think they really bring out eye color. Um, so I'm really excited about those. All right, so the second thing is something that I have already owned before, but this is a larger size. So right behind me, I have a mini size of the Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream, if, however you want to say it, from Sol de Janeiro. And I also have their body spray, which is phenomenal as well. Um, and I go through the cream really fast during the summertime because it is hands down the best summertime scent. I've talked about it before. It is just so amazing. It smells like something that you want to eat. If you love those kind of foody scents, sweet smelling scents, I don't know how to describe this other than it is the best scent I've ever smelled. I love it. Um, and I think it is so beautiful for summertime. It just gives me all the summertime vibes. So I bought the full size. They do have a limited edition size that is twice this big, but I thought that was a little bit overboard for how much I use it but it is really exciting to have the full size finally because I adore this scent so cannot wait to get into this as it gets warmer and I'll be using this probably on a daily basis. The next thing I got was another scent. This is the Nest Perfume. This is just a gorgeous smelling scent. I keep a list of all my loves on the Sephora website and I had put this one on there probably a year ago because it just smelled so beautiful, but I never went around to purchasing it. When the sale came up, I just had to get it. Yeah, so it's been a long time since I've smelled this and I love it. It is so beautiful. It is, I don't know, just obviously very floral. I feel like it's going to be kind of subtle, but it's still going to be something kind of unique. I don't have anything that smells anything like this, so I'm really excited for that one too. Lastly from Sephora, I got two of the Ordinary Solutions. I have their Hyaluronic Acid Solution, um, and they are extremely inexpensive. If you're not familiar with the brand, they're just a few dollars, but they're supposed to be just as good ingredient-wise as a lot of high-end products. It's just a frosted glass bottle, dropper-style bottle, and they're really, really nice. 
I have not tried these two before, so I cannot wait to dive in and see if these do anything good for my skin, but they have good reviews, so I'm really hopeful. They were only, I think, six or seven dollars a piece, so you cannot beat that, so I thought it's definitely worth a try. Next, I mentioned that I had purchased several foundations before they were being discontinued. I had no idea that this was being discontinued until I looked at the Sephora sale, and I realized that there were only a few shades left, which got me very nervous, so I went on to the Too Faced website, and sure enough, they are discontinuing this foundation, which breaks my heart because I really love this. Um, so this is the Peach Perfect foundation. I'm not sure why some of them are in different packages than others, but I got four different shades because I'm a crazy person and I wanted to have something that would work no matter what time of year so I got the shades swan almond vanilla and snow so snow is what I typically use in the winter time but then almond and vanilla are definitely going to be my summertime shades swan and snow are definitely going to be more of the winter shades but I was so sad that this was going away because I wear this foundation a lot. It is one of my favorites. And this foundation is actually 1.6 fluid ounces. Normally a foundation is one ounce. So I feel like you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. Even though it is a little bit of a pricey foundation, you still get quite a bit more than you would in a typical foundation. So I really love that. It also came with some samples of their Primed and Poreless Primer, their Hangover RX Moisturizing Primer and a little sample of their Too Faced Peach Whisper Translucent Powder. I am really excited to have these, but also bummed because I know this is probably the last time I'm going to be able to purchase them, so I wanted to stock up. This foundation lasted me for a long, long time, so I know I'll have this um, for a while, but I just wish they wouldn't quit making it. It is a beautiful matte foundation. It's perfect. Um, so if you're looking for a matte foundation, you might want to try one of these before they're completely out of stock. So I'll link the Too Faced website. I don't know how many of these shades are still available, but it's worth checking out because it's a phenomenal foundation. I love it. Next up, I have a few products from Target and I'm excited about these. Um, because I've not tried them before, but this is the Tanologist Intelligent Tanning Express Tan Water. This is in the shade Medium. I also bought one of their mitts. I have not tried their mitts before, um, but I've used products like this in the past, and it's really important to use a mitt. In fact, I never use tanning lotion or water or anything without a mitt anymore because it's just the best way to make sure that it doesn't get on your hands, that it doesn't get streaky. Um, and I've tried the L'Oreal tanning water, which I love, but I've tried their drops before, and their drops are amazing. Um, it's $20 for a little tiny bottle, but it will last me probably at least one summer, if not more. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it goes. I've also used their gradual tanning lotion. I do not like the Jergens lotion at all. I never have. I think it's streaky. I think it gets all over my clothes and my sheets, and I just don't like it at all. But their lotion so far from this brand has not done that, so I'm hopeful that this will also be really good. Um, I just think this brand is absolutely amazing. So I could not wait to try this. The next three things are when I went to Target recently after having a really bad day and I just needed to get out of the house. Um, still being out of the house is not an escape like it used to be. Um, I think it's a constant reminder of the way things currently are, especially in my state, but I will say that it is nice to get out and go to Target, um, and I found a few products while I was there. You guys know I'm always on the search for the perfect hairspray. I can never find one that I really love. Might have found it in this haul. So the first two are by the brand OGX, and I don't use a lot from this brand, but everything I have used has been good, so I thought I would try these. First one is a level four hairspray, and this says it's the Big Hairspray Bamboo Fiberful. It's supposed to have volume, and it's supposed to definitely have a lot more of a stronger hold. And then the other one is, it says extra strength, but it's a level one hairspray, and this is the Shine and Revitalize Organ Oil of Morocco Multi-Benefit Hairspray. So this is going to be more of a shine spray with just a light hold, but this is really good too. I've tried both of these. I really like them. I especially like this one for my bangs where I don't need a lot of hold. And then I like this one for my curls just for the rest of my hair. So I think these are both really good. They smell good. They smell a little coconutty to me and I really like that scent. So 
loving these so far and then another one I found and I love so many things from this brand and I've talked about this brand before is the SGX NYC and this is the play it big and it says super hold big volume finishing spray 24 hour humidity control um, I think these were all around six or seven dollars so not crazy not that much more than I don't know like a lower end drugstore hairspray so I thought I would try these out really like this one it can get sticky if you use too much of it but if you just use a little bit it's perfect also has a really nice scent so if you're looking for a hairspray I would say one of these might be a good one to try because I am really loving all of them and then finally when we're on the topic of hair I wanted to mention this so when I got my curtain bangs cut um I think a few months ago now I was in the salon and the hairstylist used this and it smelled so amazing that I wanted to get it it was one of those products that it probably even if it didn't do anything just the smell alone would have sold me because it is amazing so this one and they also have one called do over um, both smell phenomenal this is the Kevin Murphy bedroom hair this one I use just on my bangs and that's what she recommended so it just gives it a little bit of texture a little bit of definition and a little bit of hold um, but not too much you don't want to like cake it on it takes very very little so this bottle is gonna last me forever it was a little bit pricey but like I said I'm not gonna be going through a bottle very often um, I've been using this every day since I've got my curtain bangs cut and I'm nowhere near um, getting to the end of it so it's gonna be something that's gonna last a long time kind of want to go back to the salon and pick up the do over spray as well because that would be more for the rest of my hair it's a little bit of a dry shampoo situation whereas this is just more of a hairspray but they both smell so good so Kevin Murphy amazing scent so lastly I wanted to talk about Nail Addict. They partnered with me before on a video and they are kindly partnering with me again for this portion of the video. Um, so I wanted to first show you what um, I received in this latest haul and then also explain to you how I did my manicure. So the first thing is I got these five colors. They are so gorgeous. So you have a beautiful glitter called Sun is Back. You have a light pink, almost a white pink, really pretty nude kind of color that is called Marry Me. I have a Sisters Before Misters shade, which is a kind of purpley burgundy color with a little bit of shimmer. Definitely not a glitter, but just a little bit of shimmer in there. My probably favorite shade I have ever received from them, which is called Perfect Tan, and it is a beautiful glitter, and I'll show you these up close with swatches in a second. And then lastly is a really pretty bright coral. It's going to be perfect for summertime called Temptation, and these are stunning. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to apply these and how I apply them. The first time I tried these out, I was not experienced at all with gel. It was my first gel manicure ever, and so I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but this time, I was a little bit more prepared. So first off, use one of these sets. I got this off of Amazon, but these are little nail tools, and they really, really help with getting your nails ready, and then most importantly, taking off the polish when you need to. So this was like 4 or $5. It's perfect. Um, so I'll link that below as well. And then on the Nail Attic site, they have a mini nail lamp. Um, this is essential to set the gel. So whether you use this one, they have a larger size, um, but either way, they are great and you have to have one to set that gel. Very important. And then the other things I got last time were the base coat, the top coat, and then a remover. So you can use a acetone nail polish remover and soak your nails. That's the traditional way to remove a gel polish. I'm not very comfortable doing that. Um, I don't like soaking my nails that long because my nails already are damaged very easily. So this remover is just painted on like a nail polish and then you let it sit for a few minutes and scrape the nail polish off and it works so well. So I highly recommend this. Highly recommend the base coat and the top coat they work really well and they help protect your nails so I love these two but let me go ahead and show you what it looks like to apply those um, this is the manicure that I have right now and I used a little accent nail with the perfect tan shade and then marry me on the rest I'm not usually an accent nail type of person but oh my gosh you guys this glitter is so gorgeous that I just had to do it and I love it and it's called perfect tan I think it would be beautiful if I had more of a tan but it's also perfect now when I'm 
pretty much sickly pale. So either way, it is just gorgeous. I love these shades. Go ahead and show you swatches. Go ahead and show you the application and then we'll be back. So that was my beauty haul, Sephora products and otherwise. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.